Welcome back, Golly Vibes family, my brothers and sisters. Um, boy, oh boy. It's like a trickling, trickling effect. This person just continues to pop up. Um, people keep sending different videos. I keep com coming across different videos, and it's just like, what is going on? Who, ladies and gentlemen? Who other than Mr. William Murphy? Now, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy who's playing secular music in his church, DJ Onk. And swag surfing. DJ's Ong's lyrics, we know it talks about undercover hoes. We know it talks about smoking weed. All kind of different things in these lyrics. And he's playing it in his church like it was okay because he wants to grab the attention of the youth or the culture. I have different videos. We'll put them at the end of this one. But these are different videos we're about to play right now. And it's interesting because, you know, there's been different prophecies by different prophets about different leaders in the church going to begin to get unveiled, unveiled. The truth on who they are and what they do is going to begin to get unveiled um, and what they're in, right? Now, I showed y'all a clip of this man saying, uh, getting asked, is this something y'all do or is this was this a new thing? He was like, no, we do this. So people do this. Right. But social media is blowing it up. So, in other words, if it wasn't for social media, these men would continue doing this. They, they wouldn't never it would never be seen. But the fact is that we're talking about it is bringing it to the light. But the Lord is showing us and we're bringing it out so people can see who they're following. So people can see who they're listening to when they see true disciples and true people of God saying, hey, hold on. That just ain't it. That just ain't it. Now, we came respectfully. We said that, that this isn't it. You shouldn't be playing secular music in churches with the lyrics sounding like this. What did he do? If you can't out soul with me, shut your mouth. That's what he said. That was his response. So that's your response. We're going to continue showing exactly what's wrong when it comes to this particular area with things that he's doing. Right. I uh, I wish I, I, I want nothing but the best to come out of this situation, meaning I pray for this man to come into a place of repenting. And getting back right with God instead of trying to get right with man. Check out this video. I know you trying to get your spirit right, but God said the first thing I'm going to do is get your money right. Half of your issue is you ain't got nothing. Let's just play it back one time real quick. Hold on. Let's, let, listen to what was just said. You trying to get your spirit right, but God said the first thing I'm going to do is get your money right. Oh my goodness. He said, I know you're trying to get your spirit right, but God said the first thing he's going to do is get your money right. Meaning before God gets your spirit right, he's going to get your money right. That's what he just said. To all the people who are still in this congregation. That's what he just said. Now, what does my Bible say? Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek first God. Seek first right understanding. Seek first spiritual truth. First. And all these things will be added to you. Don't make things an idol. Don't put things before God, like money and material and all kind of different things. Put God first. If the Lord allows you to have those things afterwards, amen. Amen. The Lord doesn't care about you having money. The Lord doesn't care about you having things as long as you don't put those things before God. If you don't idolize those things. Now, when you put things before God and you can't separate yourself from them for God, you are in a heap of trouble. You are in a heap of trouble. At that point, you have put material things. At that point, you have put money. At that point, you have put relationships. At that point, you have put whatever you can't let go for God over God. Let's continue listening to this. Half of your issue is you ain't got nothing. Half of your spiritual issues would go away if you just had enough money to meet your needs. 
half of your spiritual issues would go away if you just had enough money to meet your needs. My Lord. My Lord. Some of y'all right now, the reason you can't stop fornicating is because you ain't got enough money. The reason you can't stop fornicating is because you ain't got enough money. I, I don't even see the logic in that one. I don't, first of all, I don't see the logic in any of these statements. But fornicating because you don't have enough money? Y- y'all make sense of it. Y'all make sense of it. Y'all make sense of it. I, I, <laughs> I can't. Oh, my Lord. Y'all make sense of it. Please, y'all make sense of it. I, I, I'm not going to respond to that one. I can't. Can we just keep it real? You need that extra money. I ain't calling you no gold digger, but you ain't messing with no... Watch your mouth in church. Don't be. So you fornicating because you don't have enough money. He ain't calling you a gold dick, but you ain't messing with no broke. I'm just trying to put those two together. I, I'm really at lost for words right now. I, <clears throat> well, there's more pastors standing up against this type of stuff. And, you know, I, I, it's beautiful to see. Why? Because there's mega church pastors. Like Jamal Bryant, like William Murphy, um, a lot of different mega church pastors who do off things and don't get caught out on it. They don't get caught out on it. When you had different, listen, when you had different people teaching heretical back in the early church days, back in the first century days, they were getting they were getting caught out on it. There were different books written for different men who were teaching heretical teachings. Marcion was a great heretical teacher, and there was books written about him and how he was a heretical teacher. So what we're doing here is we're showing you the heretics. Not because I wish bad on this man. Not because I want something, not because I want something bad to happen to this man, but because I want you to see the difference between the truth and a lie. If it wasn't for different platforms, if if there was no social media and this type of stuff was just happening over there and people thought it was just normal and this was church and this was truth, they'd be stuck in it. No one would be there blowing a trumpet saying, come out, my friend, come out. You are in a pit. But thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. There's trumpets out here screaming it. Telling you and showing you in case you're inside of his congregation. Come out. Come out. And there's different pastors saying the same thing. I want to show you guys this one man. I don't really know who this is. If you guys do uh, comment his name in the comments. Check out, check out what he said. What about walking it out on Christmas Eve? This fellow named Bishop Burford, I had him here. And I'm glad to say that when he came, our spirits did not agree. And he talking about 150 people came out of darkness to light. And he did not preach the gospel. He did not make an invitation to salvation. He made an invitation to church membership. I told you guys, I seen the video when he called people up. It wasn't to be saved. It was to join the church. So when he said 150 people were saved last night, he was talking about people joining the church. (laughs) What the, where, where have we come, body? Where have we come, body? He told the people, come on home. You better find out what home that is. Home is hell for some folk. Somebody tell you to come home, you better say, who's home? Who's the head of the house? We have no commitment to, to, to anybody. Our commitment is to God. Hallelujah. Folks start teaching stuff that's going to lead souls astray. We don't just be quiet about it. Mm. We warn the souls. Talking about we can't let them have the culture. It's their culture. That's their stuff. We're different. We're called out. Set apart. 
What fellowship does light have with darkness? Hallelujah. This man, William Murphy said, we're, we're changing the culture for Christ's sake. No, you're changing Christ for the culture's sake. You play DJ Onk and Swag Surf in your congregation. Who knows what else you played in there? I'm about to show y'all a video right now that's really disturbing. You think you've seen something. I'm about to show the type of music that's just, what in the world is going on? <laughs> listen to this. Listen, listen to the music he was playing here. While talking to different people driving by. This is William Murphy. This is William Murphy. Listen to the music that was playing here. And his church make the stallion playing in background. We have to pray for him. Meg the stallion. Ladies and gentlemen. Is, is playing in the background with him right here. I don't know if this is the is the, if this is the church. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! This was at his church, Megan Thee Stallion playing in background. We have to pray for him. This was at the church. Are you? J <laughs> So, listen, listen, because 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 he thinks that it's cool because he's saying we love you to the cars. L listen, listen. My Lord. This ain't only Savage, just this, this the Beyonce remix. Lord have mercy. My Lord. Listen, if 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 y'all still haven't got it yet, I I don't know what to tell you. If you ain't seen it yet, if you still in this congregation and you ain't seen it yet, I I really don't know what to tell you. That was Savage by Meg Thee Stallion being played in the background at his church. You hear what I'm telling you right now? He's numb. He's numb. He's numb. In a strong delusion. He's had so much Pharisee venom. He has so much Pharisee venom in him that he's numb. Wow. Wow. Let me, for, for those who don't really understand, Megan Thee Stallion is a super secular artist. Let me read you the lyrics, just some of it, off of that song, off of that song. I'm that B, been that B, still that B, will forever be that B. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy! That's the beginning lyrics. My goodness. <sighs> this is what was playing at his church, guys. This this honestly makes me it, 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 it it's it oh my lord. It makes me sad. Not just for his soul, but the souls who are following him. As if, 
your souls are following you where you're going. If you if you're under him and you're learning by him and he's teaching you and what he's teaching you is being engrafted into your soul where he's going, you're going. I don't think you understand that. The word of God says you're you're guilty by association just because you call them your fathers, you're guilty. So the souls that are in his congregation following him, they have a leader after their own heart. They're following him where he's going. Are you hearing me? That's why it makes me sad looking at this. I'm going to read a little more. Just so y'all could just see how disturbing this is. If that could be planned. Listen, when I first came to the Lord, I had to buy Beats headphones. Because when I would walk into like Best Buy or different stores, I would hear secular music playing. And it wasn't even as bad as this. I would hear secular music playing and it would affect my spirit. So I'd be like, yo, I need some headphones. I can't just, it's messing with me. He's numb. They think because it's called a church, because he's, he's called a bishop, that that's actually a church? That's a synagogue. You know what? Let, let, let's. Read a little I'm read a little more. Listen to this. Eat me and record it, but your hedge up all I'm showing. I keep my ends private, so his AP all I'm showing. Beefing with you bees, really getting kind of boring. If it ain't about the money, then you know I'm gonna ignore it. I'm the S H I need a mop to clean the floor. It's too much drip. Oh, I keep a knot, I keep a watch, I keep a whip. Let's play a game. Simon says, I'm still that B. I'm a savage, classy, bougie, ratchet, sassy, moody, nasty. <sighs> I have to stop reading this. It's disturbing just reading it. But I want to show you guys exactly what we're up against. I don't make these videos bringing light to these men's congregations because I don't like these men. I do it because there are many people being deceived by these men. Him, Jamal Bryant, many people are being deceived by them. They're, being, they're, they're in false teachings they're in a congregation that calls itself a church but really is hip just hypocrites they're acting they're actors they are not really church you don't tell people to join the church oh join the church and you say they're saved because they joined your church have they joined the kingdom You think because they have a whole lot of people sign up to join something that they're all saved? <sighs> my Lord. <sighs> Pray for the souls, my brothers and sisters. Pray for the souls. May the souls come into understanding. May the souls come into light. May the souls come into repentance. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if this... For those who want to see more unfiltered videos, you can go to my patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. Um, we are building a small little community here where we communicate and uh, really talk about what's uh, going on in a lot of these different videos and a lot of different things going on in the world. If you want to subscribe, support, go here. You can do that. Um, if this video is not up anymore, it will still be up on there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I thought that, I thought that this was pretty disturbing, but I'm definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Amen. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.